We got some MCU movie news, guys. This is crazy stuff. We know some of the projects are coming, Doctor Strange 2, Thor Love and Thunder, but now we've gotten some confirmation on some things we've been thinking about for quite a while, but now have been confirmed by Kevin Feige himself. If you haven't subscribed, please make sure to do so. I'm going to be making videos like this, breaking news, trailer breakdowns, reactions, reviews, all that in the next coming days. But for now, let's get into it. So there was quite a bit of confirmed news that came out of the Disney investors meeting from Kevin Feige and Marvel. In this specific breaking video, I'm going to compile three of the most important and I think substantial pieces of news that were confirmed today, and we'll talk about some of the other ones in the coming videos. But for now, here's three of the most important and exciting pieces of news that I think came out. And yes, I know I am omitting the elephant in the room, the fourth piece of news, if you will, but I'm going to be making a separate video on that. Stay tuned. Piece of news number one, Ant-Man 3 is going to be called Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantum Mania. Am I crazy about the title? Not really. Do I think they missed an opportunity to call it Ant-Man and the Wasp and Kang and just make 10 Ant-Man films where they just keep adding on more people's names? Probably, but titles don't make a movie. So what does the title tell us about the movie? Not much, honestly. I mean, we knew it was going to be delving into the quantum realm, that much we knew. We also know that Jonathan Majors is confirmed to be playing Kang. Cassie Lang will be back. Janet Van Dyne will be back. Of course, Paul Rudd, Evangeline Lilly. I think this does set up the possibility, though, given that fourth piece of news that I'm not talking about in this video, that I think... The Fantastic Four should have some role in this film. Nothing to back that up, but just some speculation and a hunch. Next up, Thor 4, Love and Thunder, Christian Bale confirmed to be playing Gore the God Butcher. This was something that we had all been thinking about before, speculating on who Christian Bale would be playing, and Gore the God Butcher was one of the most prominent theories, and now it is confirmed he is going to be playing Gore the God Butcher in Thor, Love and Thunder. And finally, and perhaps most intriguing of all, She-Hulk has added two intriguing cast members. One we expected, one we didn't, although it does make sense. The first one, Mark Ruffalo is returning as Hulk in She-Hulk. Makes sense, right? Jennifer Walters is Bruce Banner's cousin, and she does get her powers from Bruce Banner. So it makes sense Mark Ruffalo is returning. But the second one is the one that I want to talk about a little bit more, which is Abomination, played by Tim Roth, is going to be coming back in She-Hulk. This is interesting, exciting potentially, and thought-provoking news. Abomination is coming back for She-Hulk. Now, whether or not he's going to be in his Abomination form, whether or not they got him back to human form, whether or not he's going to be the villain of the series, that remains to be seen. But I think it's really interesting that now Marvel is taking pieces from The Incredible Hulk, a film that is considered to be a little bit of an outlier in the MCU, but they're taking pieces like Thunderbolt Ross and now Emil Blonsky and putting them into their MCU projects. So three pieces of news for three MCU films that are looking to shape up. Which of these pieces of news is the most exciting to you? Let me know in the comments down below. While you're at it, please make sure to subscribe and give this video a like. If you want to check out some more videos, check out the videos on the screen right now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.